What's up guys, welcome back to my series on web scraping with R. In the last video, we web scraped this IMDB page. Now if we actually open up the data frame, we can see that we got the names, the years, the ratings, and the synopses of each of these movies. And in this video, we're gonna actually build off of that. So if you haven't watched that video, I'd recommend checking that out and then coming back and watching this one. But essentially, we're gonna go more into RVest and web scraping. We're going to go into uh, nested links, which is when you scrape links and then navigate to those links, scrape even more data from the links. Uh, essentially, I want to add another column to this data frame of all the primary cast members for each of these movies. Now you can see some of the stars right here that are listed, but I think it's only like four of them for each movie. And I want a lot more. I want all the primary ones. And those are only listed if we go into the movie and then come down to cast, they're down here. So going back to our code, we actually don't have to add a whole lot. Uh, the first step is going to be actually grabbing the URLs for each of these movies. Now we wrote the code for it, so, or at least most of the code for it. So it's not too hard. We just need to add a new variable called movie links. And uh, you see name, if we run this part, we get this uh, title TT and then back to the future. If we go into one of these movies, you can see the URL is actually imdb.com slash title, blah, blah, blah. So the links are there. We just need to somehow put it all together. So once we've copied the HTML nodes up to that part, we can paste that for movie links. And now instead of grabbing the text, we want to grab this actual value here inside of the, the A tag. So we're going to call this function called HTML ATTR, and then we're going to pass in href, and this will grab this value. Now, again, we're not fully there yet, because if we run that, that gives us the value we're looking for, but we obviously can't go to this link. So we need to pass in one more, or sorry, call one more function, and that's going to be paste. And paste is going to concatenate strings together, so we need to concatenate the imdb.com website that URL with the end of this. So let me just get rid of the extra slash. So uh, I just need to add comma and then period. And I mentioned earlier how piping, it takes everything towards the left of the pipe. It computes that and it passes whatever that result is as the first argument to the function after the pipe. So theoretically, it, if we just had paste imdb.com, it would call uh, you know one of these titles and then imdb.com after that, but that's not what we want. So we specify that the, whatever is being passed in is passed in as a second argument by putting that period there. And then the last thing we need is sep equals empty quotes, because by default, paste will add a uh, empty space between the two strings we're trying to concatenate. And because these are links, we don't want that. So we can go ahead and run this and just see what it looks like. And that's exactly what we want. So that looks good. Now that we have all the movie links, we need to figure out a way to actually go into each of the pages and scrape the cast members. If you come from a programming background or have done any coding at all, you might be tempted to use a for loop here, but I think R is actually more efficient when it's using sapply and lapply functions rather than for loops. So we're going to try to do that. And it's not super, super hard, even though it is kind of tricky. Uh, but first I'm going to get rid of this write.csv because we no longer need that. And then I'm going to start writing some code right here. I'm going to create a function that essentially takes in one of these movie links and scrapes these cast members and then just returns whatever that string is. So we're going to call that get cast. It's going to be a function that takes in a movie link. And the first thing we need to do, kind of similar to how we read in this HTML source code, we're going to need to read in the movie link and generate our page. And then once we have that page, we can grab the cast. And again, this is really similar to all these other uh, web scraping functions that we did up here. So we have the page, 
we pipe that into HTML nodes. And now we just need to figure out the CSS tag. So we'll go to Chrome, click on one of these cast members, and now deselect what we don't want. And that's perfect. I have the list of these primary cast members. So we'll copy that tag, put it into our HTML nodes. And last is just to grab the text. Cool. So I want to test this function out, or at least what's inside the function, but I don't want to go over every single movie link. So I'm just going to put a temporary variable here called movie link that is going to be the same as this, just so we can test out what this function does. So I'll copy one of these links right here, just as an example. Great. And now if I run these three lines, hopefully movie cast should be equal to exactly what I want, which is these cast members. So that looks great. Now, the only thing here is that because I want to eventually append uh, this output as a column onto this movies data frame, I need to do one other step. And that is calling paste again to collapse all of these 15 different elements into just one element specifically into one string. So I'll call paste with this collapse argument. Then that should be good. Oops. If I run this, that gives me just one element, one string. That's perfect. Now the last thing is to return moviecast. And then since we know that all this works now, I can get rid of this temporary movie link variable. Cool. So now I have uh, movie links which is equal to all these different IMDB links. And I have this function get cast that's equal to uh, a function that given a movie link scrapes all the cast names and returns a string, single string with them. So in order to put it all together, I'm going to uh, call the s apply function. Uh, first, we're going to create a new cast variable. So this is going to be the, the column similar to all these other columns that we're going to add to our data frame. And it's going to take in the movie links and a function get cast. And essentially the way s apply works is given the first uh, variable, which is a vector of movie links, it'll go into each one, grab this, run it through the function, you know, passing it in as a parameter. And then whatever the result is, it'll just put that back into a vector for me. So, that should be good to go. And the last thing is to add cast as the fifth column to our data frame. And now if we run all of our code, cool. So now if I view movies, you see that we get this last column with each of the cast members. And of course you can do any kind of text cleaning. Uh, I just wanted all of it flattened into one element. Um, and the last thing is you see all of these IMDB stuff that it added. This is because when we created cast using the supply function, it left in all of the, the movie URLs right there. And if you don't want that, you can just pass in use.names equals false. And uh, if you rerun this, that should fix it and it should go back to having no name here. So that's pretty much it for this video. I definitely recommend checking out the next part where we go into uh, dealing with multiple pages. But if you have any other feedback, definitely let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.